Good morning. It's Amy here with another story from Tales from the Hoop Circle. And I have my good friend Denise Fisher here with me. And we're going to talk a little bit about hooping, a little bit about food, a little bit about getting other exercise. Look at she cringes on food. Mm. I'll tell you why. <laughs> and then um, we're, we're just going to have a little friend chat about this story from the Hoop Circle. And mm -hmm. okay, truth be told, this is story number two because somehow... The black cloud followed me and I lost story number one. So Denise was kind enough to come back out with me on my lanai on a very, um, I, we're going to say a blustery winter day here uh, <laughs> with the wind. But blustery here does not mean the same as where we came from. Denise is actually a longtime resident here in Florida, but where, where did you hail from prior to that? Originally, we came from Cincinnati, Ohio. So Cincinnati, not the same kind of blustery day, huh? Oh, but the heat there was unbelievable. It's hotter there sometimes than it is here in Florida. Yes. So Denise is a hooper. Yes, I am. And um, we met in hoop class. And I remember the day we met, she came with her sister. Yeah. And she was getting ready to go on a big trip, but she walked in and uh, we partnered up on some things in hoop class and Denise was my partner. And um, we, had fun. we did have fun, didn't we? Yeah. And, and Denise was um, getting ready to go on a trip and she explained to me she needed a hoop. And, and what did you do on that trip with that hoop? Well, we were driving to Cincinnati and with re my sister was, was going with me and I thought, I'm going to hoop every time we stop, every time. Because we had a dog, so we'd have to stop for him. Then we'd stop to get gas. We'd have to stop to get food. I thought, I'll never, ever see these people again. And if they think I'm crazy, oh, well, it'll yes, fit crazy. right in. Crazy's good. <laughs> crazy's good. And it's funny she said that because I do. I hoop on whenever we take car trips. I always have a hoop. My husband's like, how many hoops do we need? And I'm like, at <laughs> least one, maybe three. And then um, I hoop. And I move because um, now even more so because I've had a blood clot. And so I want to make sure I'm moving the extremities, moving the legs. Right. And, you know, plane trip, can't hoop on the planes. But uh, I move my feet constantly. And then when we drive in the car. So when she said she was going to, you know, get out and hoop, I'm like, yeah, do it. And then... And then Denise and I parted ways. I didn't see Denise for a while until it was regatta season last year. I ran into Denise's daughter, um, who I had also hooped with, mm -hmm. and Danielle. And she was like, "I." she saw my hoops against yeah. a tree. And she said, I should have known it was you. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's good to see you. We talked about the kids. And then we talked about Denise. And I had told, told uh, Danielle that um, her daughter, that I had a new class going called Restorative Hooping. I'm like, your mom would be perfect for the class. And truly, um, she walked in and we've been hooping together ever since. And so let's talk about um, hooping, maybe not necessarily just in my class, but hooping with friends right. and, and what that does for you. Well, I think it's always good to have somebody else with you because if when you make a mistake, they laugh at you, and you they you make a mistake, and everybody laughs. It's no big. We're our poops on the floor more than something <laughs> it's up, but eventually it stays up, and everybody's excited for everybody else because they're learning learning something new, and it really is a lot of fun. And really now is. I think that's true. I think that's true, and I think that's a really important thing about sometimes. It, we say that I say this all the time, and I, and I be, I become kind of like annoying with this saying when I say if you don't move you don't move. Mm -hmm. And so getting off the sofa, hey, I applaud anyone who gets off the sofa and goes for a walk, but sometimes even getting off the sofa and go joining some friends mm -hmm. just makes it all the more fun. And that's one of the things I like most about hooping with people. And um, as an instructor, I get really excited. I'm like the crazy person jumping up. Yay, she did it! <laughs> um, and we have a little video of Denise that I'm going to insert into this. Um, now, Denise, once upon a time in high school, yes. what were you? I was a majorette, and then I was made drum major. And I think the only reason I would, did that is because I used to play the clarinet in the band, and I was so bad that they moved me up to major. <laughs> major. So I had a little skill with moving things around, so it was fun. I mean, anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do a hooping they really can it's just it's something different it's something fun she 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 gives me this one day hey what if i try like throwing a baton up on you know and catching mm -hmm. it behind your back and i'm like really denise and then sure enough she took the hoop she tossed it up she turned around and then she said you do it and i'm like <laughs> 
oh my gosh, if you can do it, I'm going to try it. So I'm, yeah. if I can find a successful one of me, I'll insert it. But we're going to take a minute and we're going to watch Denise right now. So we'll pause, we'll bring up that video, we'll run hers or run some commentary over it. But I was, you know, I was stoked that day because you really taught me something that, yeah, you did. Thank you did. You. We talked about, um, Denise is just a little mm -hmm. older than me. Denise, how old are you? I'm 75. She is 75, people. She's, she's 20, 20 years my senior, and um, I think... You know, man, I want to be doing what you're doing right now when I'm your age because she's a mover and a shaker. And we're going to talk about some of the other things Denise does too. We're going to watch that little video right now. But, you know, get up and move because you can be awesome like Denise. <laughs> All right, so I've got Denise's video here. We're going to go ahead and watch it. I'm going to insert it or show it after. I don't know which because I'm still, like, you know, a little novice on this um, bit. But, hey, welcome back to the show. And um, Denise and I are going to watch her be amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, that I was so that. much fun, Denise. <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah, see yourself yeah. on that? Yeah. I mean, check it out. I was tickled to death that I got him twice. <laughs> you know, and I have to say that that's part of the class: being tickled to death having fun with others right. and, and really hooping just lets you be a kid again I think mm -hmm. more than anything else and, right. and it lets your mind go back to a fun place and mm -hmm. and even people who never hooped and some people who never hooped and couldn't get it going when they finally figure out it's all about the hoop and the right size and everything they get really excited because it's doing some they're conquering something they didn't conquer as a kid and I think we find that to be true and um, that's kind of a good segue into the next thing that we're going to mm -hmm. talk about um, Denise's Denise's life has not been, you know, oh, move to Florida, life is happy. Um, Denise, like anybody, there's struggles, there's trials and, and triumphs, and Denise has had a trial and triumph over cancer. So tell me just a little bit about um, your cancer, what kind it was, mm -hmm. how long ago it was, um, and some of the residual effects of that. Well, I was uh, diagnosed in 2011 with ovarian cancer, and we all know ovarian cancer is a sneaky peat. Sneaky peat, indeed. You just can't can't plan for anything but we do I have a wonderful support system got through it I'm doing wonderful now but when Amy said she wanted to do this restorative he he heal hooping <laughs> healing <laughs> yeah that's do. it and I thought well I could do that because I need to get myself going but I was uncomfortable being in a professional class <laughs> but I thought this restorative we thing <laughs> we are restorative <laughs> yeah. I could try it because I do have neuropathy especially in my left foot and I trip a lot and so that and that neuropathy sorry for interrupting mm -hmm. that neuropathy is is a ris one of your residual effects of the cancer from my chemo yes okay uh -huh. right and then so so that's a, a concern right I first lost all my hands the feeling in my hands and all the feeling wow. in my feet. thank goodness my left foot came or stayed, but everything else does. But my left foot trips me up every once in a while. So I really needed help from Amy to help me how to deal with this stupid foot. And I think <laughs> <laughs> hooping is helping and without question. We actually kind of, um, um, kind of, which foot is it, left or right? Left. Yeah, it's it's the left foot story with us <laughs> ladies um, because I too have some. Uh, residual effects from the MS. I don't have as much feeling in my left foot and I can't wear flip-flops. I do trip. Um, so we may be 20 years apart, but man, we're right there together on right. some things. And, and it is challenging and I do believe um, that that core, strengthening your core, yeah. makes a big difference. It may not change the numbness factor or anything else, but the stronger you can make your core, the stronger you make your body. Uh, I, I feel the better off you are to be able to catch yourself, to watch yourself. And, you know, little changes in health make, get, can make a huge oh, difference. Oh, absolutely. So, absolutely. So we hoop together in our in what are not professional class. I love <laughs> right. that. Okay, restorative hooping, just in case anybody wants to know, is not professional. Right. We are not professionals. Uh, we also have that class indoors on a flat surface as opposed to at the beach uh, where the right. beach is uneven. I love hooping at the beach, love the beautiful days, but... But indoors is, is actually a better place to be for me, although that uneven surface also works on that core. Mm -hmm. But for many of us, excuse me, we like to be hooping on that flat surface. Right. Um, and Denise moves in a lot of other ways. Denise right. also goes to a class at the Y. Tell me a little mm -hmm. bit about that class. Well, it's 
I don't know if it's considered at the Y. It's uh, one of the cancer uh, things that they okay. provided, and it's Tai Chi. And awesome. it goes to one of the retirement homes, which gives us the room and the inner or the instructor. And Terrific. Oh, my God, Tai Chi is wonderful, too. Uh, you work there, without question. I like hooping better. But right. um, it's nice. And then um, the Cancer Society also did provide like an exercise program for at the Y, where we went. And they taught us how to use the equipment and what we should use and what we shouldn't use. Because a lot of people that have breast cancer can't use a certain arm a lot of times. Okay. So it's just, it's like another group that are there to help you get through this Terrific. terrible disease. Terrific. And, and I think um, you just kind of nailed it on the head, whether you're hooping with people. A, a support group is really important when you're working to conquer something. Uh, and I didn't know this about Denise for a while, and then she shared it with me one day. And, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh, I love you, because you move, you move, you move. And, and that smile, it, it just uplifting and getting endorphins going and doing what you can do is great. And she does another um, a service. She takes dogs out to a local school, Laurel Nakoma School. Tell us a little bit about your dog program. Um, it's called K-9 for Kids, and it goes once, woof, a, woof. Go once a week, and everybody has to have a therapy, certified therapy dog. So you go to the school, and the principal or the SRO uh, will ha suggest somebody to come to the program. The program goes for five weeks, so we have different kids every five weeks. And we talk about mostly about you know, would you make the good decision? How do you make a decision? It's just like a dog. You know, if a dog walk in here, what would the, the dogs that are there, would they smell him? You know, would they go up and say, hi, how are you, and shake his hand? They would bark at him, growl at him. Well, you're like, kids are like that too. If a new kid walked in, would you laugh at his clothes? Would you wonder where he came from? Or would you walk up and shake his hand and say, hi, we're, we're glad that you're here. So it's not for special needs kids, even though we do have some special needs. It's for somebody that just needs a pat on the back. Isn't that great? And what a great program. Oh, it is. It's just, I, I think just that's wonderful. outstanding because I think in, in our society that moves so fast with so much technology, that, that animal touching, being with a friend, anything else, you know, it's somebody holding your hand and saying they care, and maybe you don't have enough of that. Maybe today's the day you just need to hang out with the dog and, and feel, you know, that warmth and comfort. So I think I heard about that program. I'm like, oh, that's so great. And to take it to a school, I just, I can't, I can't say enough about what a great program that is. So thank you for doing that. Um, and then if that's not enough, you might see Denise hanging around the barbecue <laughs> and when Venice has their big barbecue fest and or the Sun Fest or the Venice Parade was last week and Denise was on the sidelines hanging out and I'm marching by with peace, love and hoopiness. Oh, that and was it I was think yours fabulous. Was the very best float. They had these wonderful can I tell them? Yeah, go ahead. They had these wonderful hoops that were lit up. So most of the parade is dark until you go to you know a corner so and all these girls had these hoops all lit up and they're doing every different things it was it was like you were in outer space it was so cool it really was really I think to me went beside our float but it was probably one of the and best there was Denise the hanging out so next year you need to come with me yeah I will you yeah. know yeah. we'll we'll I'm make sure we <laughs> go do a light up hoop too <laughs> so so we have a lot of fun with that so so Denise I really appreciate the fact that you came out and you shared so many different things about yourself, but I, but I just kind of want to recap. You know, mm -hmm. it, you got to move, right? Um, cancer's a hurdle, yeah, but support groups and moving and positive mm -hmm. attitude make a huge difference. Right. Now we talk about food, and Denise and I talk oh, about food boy. too. And I promised I would talk about that briefly, but Denise is like, really have a sweet tooth, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Denise, don't overdo the sugar. Now we're sharing our cup of tea, so. Yes. Bring your cup of tea. Okay, one of us has agave, and one of us doesn't. Guess who doesn't? <laughs> and guess who does? A little agave in her tea. Um, but you know, everything in moderation, and, and really, mm -hmm. it's just um, such a joy to share hooping with people, unprofessional hooping. <laughs> 
That's what we're talking I, about. I, I didn't mean her. I know you didn't. You did not. I you did not at all. I just think all. it's super cute. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. You didn't hurt. You did not hurt okay. my feelings. Um, but but really, we. The reason I'm working on chatting with people is because. I think and I hope that maybe somebody will hit this because I'll tag it with cancer, I'll tag it with breast cancer, I'll tag it with hooping, I'll tag it with something and maybe somebody who is surfing the internet will find this and, and see that you know maybe they can get up off the sofa, maybe they can hoop, maybe they can strengthen their core, maybe they can change their life in some way that um, uh, makes it a better place and really that's the only reason I well I hoop because I love my hoop it's magical uh -huh. uh, the light up ones are more magical yeah. um, but on. but sharing hooping is where my joy is I would have never no that's not true I might have met Denise somewhere along the way but chances are slim that I would have met Denise as early as I did in my travels to um, Florida and um, it, you know I value the friendships that I have of all ages and and you know she is my biggest supporter in restorative hooping. She people come in and she's like, "Oh, you gotta stay! It's so much fun!" And I love that because it is so much fun. But it's fun to hoop with people, and we yeah. do cheer each other on. And yes, the hoop falls. Yes, we drop it. But um, you're gonna see on that fab. Well, you already did because I right. I sliced it in that fabulousness of Denise. So before we go, Denise is actually um, gonna arm hoop today. We're gonna demonstrate a little bit of arm hooping. We're gonna hoop it out with a little bit of arm hooping next. So I want to thank you for coming out a second time. <laughs> it was more fun too. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And, and that black cloud is going to leave me. My <laughs> yeah. husband says it'll never leave me, that technology black cloud. And we're going to hoop it out. So thanks for joining yeah. us, and we'll see you again real soon.